Calls for drug testing at Irish festivals have been made after the drug-related deaths of two young people in the UK this summer. Drug testing uh, should be available as a facility at most music festivals, uh, particularly in Ireland where an awful lot of festivals are where we see a huge uptake in um, illicit drug use. Um, I mean, the bottom line here is that people are using drugs at these festivals and people are, you know, risking harm to themselves uh, by consuming these drugs and they will continue to do so. I think the government in general have, a wrong, have the wrong idea altogether just prohibiting drug use altogether and just um, criminalising it. Like, um, I think some kind of uh, drug testing centres or even just drug education um, to educate young people before they go using drugs, which is inevitable, um, is extremely necessary. Festivals in the UK, such as Secret Garden Party, introducing on-site drug testing with the aim of reducing harm done by illicit substances. We asked students what they thought of drug testing at Irish festivals. You cannot stop young people from taking drugs. The numbers are going up and up as the years go on. Although like they're not legal, so many people take them and so many accidents happen from them, so I definitely think more lives could be saved from it. The drugs are coming in anyway, so they might as well regulate it somehow to give people like a, a safer environment. Even though drugs are legal and all that, people are still going to use some and it's better that they're like safe. It'll just make it safer and like because people are going to do it regardless I think and if they're going to do it, they may as well do it safe. With countries such as the UK and Portugal implementing such policies, is it time that Ireland follows suit? Michael Walsh, DCU TV News.